the most important thing to tell yourself right up front. Majority of the nodules found inside the chest are not cancer. Every patient on earth, when they say, you have a lung nodule, right away, oh my God, I have cancer. Oh my God, I don't, I, I, I don't have a will yet. Oh my God, I, don't, I, I gotta film videos for my children. Like, it's human nature to go to the worst place on earth in your brain. And what I wanna do is drag you out of that and get you where you belong, which is, it's not cancer, or God forbid it is cancer, be able to tell you, whoa, 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 slow your roll, it's early stage, we're gonna get you cured of this, or, or look, it is bad, and I'm sorry it's bad, let me take you through this journey, let's, let's take you away from the what could it be to here's what it is, so that we can get you a plan of attack. And that ought to happen right away. I mean, it's ridiculous what the national standard is in the US of scan, wait a week to get told the results, call a doctor's office, get seen a couple weeks later, maybe need another scan. You know, it's two months since your scan and you're now having your procedure. That is unacceptable. Our team for the Bronx program knows that if you call and say, hey, I just was told I have a lung nodule, lung mass, well, you gotta go see a lung doctor, you know, whatever. Whatever words you use, you'll get seen within a week. Because you should be seen within a week. Because it could be cancer, right? It, it may not be, and obviously a lot of times it's not. But honestly, I want to be able to tell you that as soon as possible too. You have a nodule. Nodules obviously come in many different sizes and many different shapes and many different types of patients. So general rule, the risk of malignancy on something five millimeters and lower, so very tiny, is very remote. Not zero, but very remote. And for a lot of patients, the doctor's recommendation for these tiny nodules will be a follow-up scan many months, even up to a year later. Because even if it was a cancer, because someone will say, well, whoa, you know, cancers have to start somewhere. You're right. And the next year, it will be bigger. But it still will be so small that it will be still stage one. But for the 999 other patients where it was nothing, then that nodule will still be just tiny and we avoided unnecessary procedures. Now, what happens is the bigger it gets, the higher the risk of cancer. So, you know, if it's a 10 millimeter nodule versus a 20 millimeter nodule versus a 30 millimeter, right? So bigger the nodule, the higher the risk of it being cancer. Also the shape of it. So perfectly rounded, where they talk about how it has the density of fat, not a cancer. Spiculated, where it's not a perfect circle, it's got all these sort of spikes coming off of it, higher risk, it's cancer. How much do you smoke? How long has it been since you smoke? How old are you? The older you are, the higher the risk that it's cancer as well. Your smoking history adds to it. Do you have a cancer history other place? Because remember, a nodule doesn't have to be a lung cancer. It could be a cancer from someplace else that has spread to your lung. So if you just had surgery for your kidney cancer a year and a half ago, and you're cured, but one of the places kidney cancer can recur and spread to is the lung. So you have a lung nodule. Okay, could be a lung cancer, could be a kidney cancer, but also there are several infections that look just like this. So there are fungal infections, histoplasmosis, blastomycosis, which are endemic along the whole Mississippi and Ohio River valleys, and then coccidiomycosis, which is in the southwest of the United States. And obviously people travel a lot. These various fungal infections look a lot like a lung cancer. Um, tuberculosis in the right risk factors uh, can look like this as well. So it's also why you know, we tell people, at least what I do, is I never say to someone, there's a 0% chance it's cancer, there's a 100% chance it's cancer. I do the, it's a very low chance, or various things of making it now look very high chance. So a seven millimeter nodule, the risk of a bronchoscopy is low, but, but higher than the risk of doing nothing at the moment. It's why we're not gonna touch this seven millimeter nodule, because it's likely going to be benign. But again, these are individualized discussions. There may be reasons to, to do a bronch, there may be reasons to still watch and wait, just depends. But here's what's gonna happen on the majority, the vast majority, of the people with that seven millimeter nodule. When we follow up the scan, it's not gonna have changed at all. So instead of a thousand bronchoscopies happening, five bronchoscopies happened, 
and all the other patients avoided an unnecessary procedure. In some cases, honestly, my job is to protect you from yourself and to protect you from the internet. You know, don't forget the famous quote from Abe Lincoln, don't believe everything you read on the internet. <laughs>